looking at a total collapse of these markets. If you take any economy in the world and you take out, number one, commerce, and you take out the logistics, everything will stop. I don't care where you are, everything will stop. In car, this is exactly what is happening. There are people who are going to come to the country. They have insecurity, they are going to come to the market to buy. It's six months. It's one month. You're seeing markets which are emptying up because either traders have left or the stocks are, are running out. Presentement, Centre Afrique, il n'y a pas d'argent. Par rapport à la condition, la taux de guerre, la, les marchandises, ça ne marche pas. Parce que ça, là, avant, je paye ça euh, de lundi jusqu'à ça va finir à mercredi. Mais présentement, là, si je vends ça, les poissons, euh, pendant une semaine, mais il n'y a pas d'argent. Les, les, les prix, là, ça baisse. Là, à, en tout moment, là, it is about general population. Everybody either directly or indirectly is affected. And that is extremely concerning. Just go mad now on the kilometer sec. On a difficulty to manger, on a difficulty to vend là bas, comme d'habitude, on vend là bas, mais actuellement il y a trop de dérangements là bas. Il y a trop de dérangements là bas, on a même pas à voir tout vendre dans les véhicules ici au centre-ville pour vendre. C'est la sécurité d'abord, c'est ce qu'on attend nécessaire, c'est la sécurité. They have the gold, they have the diamond, they have the timber, they have very, very productive land. But unfortunately, since their independence, uh, they have been immersed in conflict. So they have really never realized the, the, the potential which they have. It's just what people are going to do here. It's not good. Because they are going to be maltreated and they are going to do harm to the South Africans. So that's why, in terms of our humanitarian aid, to help us. The international community, if they don't send money now, they will be sending a lot more money later. From now onwards, every month, the cost of this operation is going to increase exponentially. Let's move, let's start, because if we don't do it now, as soon as the rainy season comes, the roads get blocked, then if you have to move whether food, whether agricultural inputs, anything, we are going to be doing it in a very difficult environment, and in the process, we are going to lose some innocent lives.